everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so welcome everyone to our Deepening Democracy call. Um, this is our monthly call to actions and statewide updates. Obviously, as many of you already know, there's always a lot going on at March on Harrisburg. So we wanna make sure everyone is kept up to date. Um, so I'm Rachel, many of you know me. Um, I've been with March on Harrisburg since we first started and now I am a part-time staffer. Um, I do our social media and some of our organizing work and all of our website. And my coworkers on the call today. Hey, I'm Beth. Um, I am a staffer on MOH and also co-chair of the Lehigh Valley chapter. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy to see everybody here. Thank you, Beth. So yeah, I already kind of talked about the purpose of this call so we can keep it on moving. We'll try to keep these calls always nice and short. Um, just trying to get the key information across. Um, as many of you already know, we have chapters across the state. So if you're ever interested in plugging into your democracy movement locally, you can join any of these chapters in um, Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, York, Scranton, Lehigh Valley, Montco, or Philly. And we have regular meetings every month. And if you're interested in starting a chapter in your own area, um, if you're watching on Facebook Live and you're like, I don't see one in my town, definitely email us at info at mohpa.org and we can set one up and definitely uh, take you through the steps to getting a chapter started. All right, so our chapters have been busy and we have um, upcoming meetings. So um, in Har for the Harrisburg chapter, the members, several members uh, attended our lobby day on April 20th and also flyered and jumped up interest for ranked choice voting outside the Capitol building. Um, and their next meeting is gonna be on May 1st, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, Philadelphia members also attended the lobby day in April, it was on April 20th. Um, and uh, their next meeting is on May 4th at 6 p.m. York's next meeting is May 5th at 6.30 p.m. Lehigh Valley, um, we three members attended the lobby day as well. And we also met with Representative Ann Flood to talk to her about the gift ban um, earlier uh, via Zoom um, earlier in the month. And uh, our next meeting is May 17th at 7 p.m. And the Pittsburgh chapter, we actually have uh, one of the chapter leaders here, Liz, uh, to talk about what's going on in their chapter. Oh, do you want me to talk now? Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, we meet the fourth Thursday of each month at 4 p.m. So our next one will be May 27th, which I think is the Thursday before Memorial Day weekend. Um, and so uh, we're, we're pretty new. Uh, we've been spending our time getting to know each other. We all live in different suburbs and neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. So it is kind of geographically spread out. And one of our people has been in Pittsburgh only for two years. And he said he spent half of that in quarantine at home. So it's, you know, it's, it's an, <laughs> COVID has not impacted everything. Um, we, we are working on uh, making a list of who our constituencies are so that we're ready to act when that time comes. Um, and we've been establishing our list of skill sets and interests. We have some strong writers and some people who are very interested in human billboarding. And uh, we're just waiting to hear more updates on the gift ban because we're ready to write letters to the editor when the time is right. And that's about it. Thank you so much. And um, Montgomery County, we just started a chapter there. They had their first meeting last month and um, the next meeting date is uh, to be determined. And you can check our event calendar on the website to find um, out when that meeting is gonna happen as well as um, find out more information about all of these meetings and RSVP to attend them. All right, so just to go through real quick um, what we're working on, what all of our chapters are working on. Um, we're working on instituting a uh, ranked choice voting um, that's locally and at the state level. 
We're working to pass a gift ban in Pennsylvania. Um, we're working to establish a public campaign finance system of democracy dollars, um, similar to what they have in Seattle, which has really curbed the uh, interest, uh, special interest in um, elections. Um, preventing judicial gerrymandering, which we actually were able to do with the help of our um, friends at Fair Districts PA and uh, the whole JIPA table. Um, so that's on the back burner right now, but we were, were always, always ready to act on that, as well as maintaining, strengthening, and expanding vote by mail. As many of you know, there's been attacks on vote by mail across the country, and we are making sure that we are putting our foot down in Pennsylvania and we do not let anything roll back and rather we expand it to be even better than what it is now. And if you wanna see all the things that we're working towards, you can go to our policy platform at mohpa.org backslash policy platform because it's not gonna take just one, two or all five of these reforms to get us to where we need to be in our democracy. Um, there's actually 22 reforms that we and policies that we're working on to take democracy where it's never been. So for our ranked choice voting campaign, which kicked off about a month ago, we have a couple of working groups that have been up and running and meeting regularly. Our endorsements and speakers bureau team meets every Monday at 8 p.m. Um, and they have been doing such an amazing job. Um, they've been putting together a, a, a presentation that the RCV speakers will be using when they go to talk to other organizations about what ranked choice voting is. Um, and they have been, they're gearing up to begin training speakers soon and begin um, dispersing our speakers in the summertime. So if you're interested in getting involved in that, once again, you can head over to our events calendar on our website and RSVP for that to get Zoom information. And our policy and re and that and the endorsements team has been endorsements and speakers bureau team has been meeting every single week. So they meet every Monday at 8 p.m. And then our policy and research team, they meet every other Sunday at seven o'clock p.m. So their next meeting is on uh, May 9th at seven Sunday, 7 p.m. And they are our policy team that's working to They've been hashing out a five-year plan for our RCV campaign and what policy, uh, what that, what the policy side of that looks like, um, and they have been doing a really great job. And actually, for their next meeting, they have a special guest coming on. So they're from the uh, the special guest is from the Voter Choice Massachusetts campaign that was run um, last year, and he will be talking about some of the successes and some of the failures of that campaign. So we're really looking to learn from other states that have been working on ranked choice voting um, in that next meeting. So be sure to attend, don't wanna miss that. Um, and then we have three other teams, ranked choice vote, uh, the communications team, the social media team, and the volunteer outreach team. And they have been meeting separately for the past month, but a couple of our members have discussed um, how they want to attend all three meetings, but it's too much to attend all three. So we've been doing a little bit of reorganization and those three teams will actually now be meeting at the same time. Mm -hmm. And we are working right now to find a time that works for everyone. So if any of those teams sound interesting to you, um, please email info at mohpa.org and we will send you the survey so you can um, fill in what times work for you and we can try to choose a time that works for us all. The um, communications team works on our messaging and um, our letter to the editor campaign, which hasn't started yet, but we have been doing behind the scenes work on. And our social media team works on everything we put out about ranked choice voting on our, any of our socials, that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, getting on TikTok soon to be determined when. Um, and then our volunteer outreach team, which like Beth alluded to, um, does a lot of flyering and direct outreach to individuals. So they did some flyering on when we were in the Capitol on 420 and they got a ton of signups, uh, which is great. And now we're in the process of onboarding all those people. Um, so if any of those three things sound like something you would like to participate in or get involved with, definitely email us and we will send you a survey um, so we can choose a new meeting time.
and we will also, I know the volunteer outreach team has been discussing flyering on um, the prime for the primaries on May 18th. So if that's something you'd also be interested in getting involved in, definitely be sure to email us. I also wanted to mention that if you are interested in having us come speak about ranked choice voting um, at your organization or church or um, uh, your what you know a local group, you can reach out to us at info at mohpa.org um, and we would be happy to set up uh, and talk to you a little bit more about that. And so now we are moving on to the gift ban campaign and we are mobilizing right now for this. Um, so just to recap, um, in case uh, of those of you that might not know, Pennsylvania is one of eight states with no gift ban. And this means that lobbyists and anyone else can gift our legislators anything, including things like expensive vacations, um, whining and dining, and even cash. So. Um, Senate bill right now, Senate bill SB, it's SB 401 is a gift ban bill and it makes that kind of gift of gift giving illegal. And it's currently sitting in the Senate state government committee. So we like and support this bill. It's not perfect, but um, we're going to be asking for changes that, that will hopefully make it stronger. And there are two people right now that have the power to pass this bill. And they are uh, Senate State Government Committee Chairman Seth Argel and Senate President Jake Corman. So we are mobilizing to put pressure on both of them to bring the bill to a vote and to pass it into law. We've been fighting, March on Harrisburg has been fighting for this um, popular reform for four years and others have been fighting for it way before us. And so we are saying enough is enough and the bill needs to be passed so we can start trusting our elected officials again. So these, we have um, some upcoming events to kick off our mobilization. And May 14th, we're gonna be doing um, community powered billboarding um, with our chapters across the state. And um, that will probably be like during um, evening hours, rush hour, but that's really going to be up to each of the chapters. And if you're interested in learning more about that, you can see our events calendar at, on our website and um, uh, reach out to us. You can sign up uh, through the events calendar and we'll be in touch with more information about that. And then uh, May 20th, we are doing on Zoom. Um, it's going to be a meeting for nonviolent direct action planning. And this is gonna be planning some of our actions coming up uh, the rest of the summer. And we are specifically gonna be focusing on Center County. So you'll wanna check the events calendar also for those uh, events that are coming up. And also we're gonna be sending out an email next week that will have some more information on that. And you definitely want to sign up for the May 20th event because that's where we'll be really talking and planning and fleshing out our um, our plan for the next coming months. Yes, and for um, our mobilization, like Beth said, we will be sending out an email next Monday that will have call scripts, sample tweets, um, the sample letters to the editor, a letter campaign, all directed at uh, Argyle and um, Jake Corman. So keep your eye out for that. Um, and also keep your eye out for in that email, we are publishing a new blog post that details the decades long fight um, to get the gift ban into law. And this is going to be the year, and this is going to be the session that we get it done. So we're going to be really amplifying the work that we've done in the past four years, as well as the people who have done it before us, because it is just, it is time. <laughs> exactly. Um, so the gift ban is actually one of the things that we'll be lobbying for um, in the next, through June. So along with ranked choice voting and strengthening vote by mail. So we have um, a bunch of lobby days scheduled. We had our first lobby day on uh, April 20th and that went really well. We 
Um, members from several different chapters came together, met in the Capitol. We visited legislators' um, offices, had conversations with some legislators and legislative staff, dropped off info about our policies, and set up a bunch of lobbying meetings for um, May and June. So we have these days coming up in Harrisburg. These are in person, um, May 25th, June 8th, June 25th, and June 22nd. And then we do have some virtual days where we'll be meeting with legislators on Zoom. And those are May 21st, June 11th, and June 19th. And we need people power um, at these lobby meetings. So you are encouraged to come out with us, uh, meet with the legislators and first time lobbyists are encouraged to come. We will give you a brief training and we'll put you with somebody experienced to talk with the legislators. So um, it, whether you're new to this or seasoned, we need all hands on deck. So check out um, mohpa.org. Sorry, I realize I have a typo on that. <laughs> mohpa.org um, and uh, the events calendar. And you can sign up for any of those lobby days. And then we have, so we do have a couple upcoming training. So the Poor People's Campaign um, a National Call for Moral Revival is a nationwide campaign focused on ending the inseparable evils of poverty, racism, ecological devastation, militarism, and our distorted moral narrative. The campaign um, organizes also at the state level and March on Harrisburg is one of the organizations on the state coordinating committee in Pennsylvania. So if you wanna know more about the work of the Poor People's Campaign, are um, we are doing a uh, Poor People's Campaign 101 info session on Friday, May 7th, that's on Zoom, and that's at 12.30 p.m. and it'll be about an hour long. And then um, we are, the, the state-wide uh, organization is doing a um, info session on the state budget um, on May 11th at from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And the, this session, we really, members of the state organization have been studying the budget um, and different aspects that relate to housing and welfare and benefits and healthcare, mass incarceration and more. And we're looking at um, where the money is currently being spent in our budget and where we think it should be spent to um, align with the values and the goals of the Poor People's Campaign. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a, a really good informational session and we hope you'll come out for that. And again, you can go to our events calendar to sign up for that. So that brings us to the end. Rachel, do you have anything uh, to add? Don't believe so. Do we have um, any questions? Doesn't look like it. So say that we're gonna wrap things up. And um, I also did wanna add thank you to all of our amazing volunteers, um, our, our chapter leaders, and we could not do what we do without you. And you are all so dedicated um, and we really appreciate all the hard work you do. And thank you everyone who tuned on tuned in on Facebook or who is watching this, you know, a couple hours later or the next day or the next week. Um, or hope, we hope you enjoyed this little update. And if you have any feedback for us, you can always email us. We always are open to feedback. Um, I will close out with this quote that Beth found for us today. Activism begins with you. Democracy begins with you. Get out there, get active. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.